Got rid of the hot shot. And then this truck was also just, it was just sitting. So my dad didn't even put it up for offer. He just knew somebody who knew somebody who needed a truck. The guy's a farmer. He does some farm work and he just needed a truck to haul around some hay around his yard. So he's not going to be using it for hot shot. I didn't feel comfortable selling this truck to nobody doing hot shot, but. Yeah, why not? Why? Man, it's got two years, good, good two years left in this truck. This truck but you it. always tell people 200,000 miles. No, you probably got 300,000. 300 to pay it off. 300 to pay it off? Basically, yeah. You want to you want to be you want this truck to be paid so off. So would you start off with this truck with two hundred thousand miles if you were buying one to start off a hot shot? That's the question. Oh no, I wouldn't do that. I have done that. I've done that very same thing. This is a better truck than the truck that I had, but of course my truck only cost six thousand bucks, and I made two hundred forty thousand miles with it, and it, that truck had over two hundred thousand miles on it. Explain it. Oh, this. Hey, explain what you did. Hold on, let me get him the right finger. I was trying to um, feed my dog. And I got him a new dog feeder, automatic dog feeder. And he got some really, really sharp edges. Those automatic dog feeder that holds about 50 pounds of um, uh, food. They're called uh, dog chow, some crap. Let me tell you about this rock, man. Take it. It's really nice. Beautiful setup. Beautiful setup. Guys and cow for Chick fil A. That's about 95% of the dead cows in America. This this jersey is probably about the other five percent. Gotcha. The jersey produces less milk okay. than the Holstein, which is a black and white cow. But the jersey produces about twenty percent more vitamins, minerals, and butter fat. Okay. So when you drink their milk, you're yeah. gonna think you're drinking ice cream. Yeah. I didn't know that. That was good information. Our, we can milk our cows up to probably about 11, 12 years old. The commercial industry is done with a cow that's six years old. Moses, here's a question I never understood. Maybe looking. You got female cows. The only time they produce in milk is when they have babies? Yes. So all these have babies? Yes, same concept, just like a woman. But how long do they produce milk? Well, this is this is what you do. <clears throat> they get bred. Yeah. When they have their calf, uh -huh. they're in they're in the milk. Okay. Okay. What they'll do is they'll peak, they'll they'll start on a cycle. So they come uh -huh. in and give them a gallon, gallon and a half, right. and they'll start increasing for about 60 days and they peak up. Okay. And then they'll level out. Yeah. In about 60 days to 90 days, we breed them back again. <laughs> I know right now I see a lot of people that are selling their equipment, getting out the trucking game, and you know, it's to me, I wouldn't sell anybody doing hot shot or or trying to start in hot shot this truck. A lot of people have all they have asked, they have, not asked, they have asked, and I've turned on people plenty of times, man, because. You don't want to start out in this game with a truck with 200,000 miles unless you know what the hell you're doing. You know what I mean? Unless you're mechanically inclined. You know what I mean? And it's a blessing, like I said, to be able to get this truck to somebody who actually really wants the truck. Like I said, we ain't doing nothing with the truck. It's just sitting around. We're not doing nothing with the truck. It's just sitting around. And I'm happy that somebody's going to be able to get it and use it for what they need it for which like i said he's using it for farm work he's not going to be doing no heavy hauling with it he's going to be using it with some what most of these pickup trucks are made to do and i don't ever get this truck washed now a couple at a time of course i'm gonna do a better job of that but i usually don't get this truck washed i'm always running pushing going 100 percent and today i decided well you know because i got my girl on the road with me let me go and get a truck wash today. So I would love to say that I will be in there a lot more spending about 90 something dollars every time I go because 
The truck looks freaking fantastic. Look at the wheels. I mean, look at the wheels, guys. I mean, look at the wheels. She looks freaking clean. She looks freaking clean. We got $4,000 heading up 987 miles. Last time I checked. So one pick, three drop. We'll drop it all off on Monday. And I'll be picking up a load Tuesday to head right back down to Florida so I can go home. Short little run. Get us back up on the ropes. Get us back in the game. That way we can drop off the load. The truck is in good condition now. The batteries work. No more electrical problems. And no more leaks. We're 1,000. Hopefully, what I'm saying is not bull crap. And in the next video, y'all see we break down. But I don't think that's going to happen, man. I don't think that's going to happen. So I think we're going to be 1,000. So. Truck looks good, though, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? Yes, sir. I saw a negative comment yesterday, and the dude was like, he's like, why do you got Jade with you? Jade needs to be at home running the back office. She shouldn't be out there babysitting you. And I was like, I didn't see that. It was on Instagram. When um, the one where I was shipping the gears, and he was going to see you uh -huh. And I was like, I was like, God damn. You know what I mean? I was like, bro, like, you know, that's my girl. You know what I mean? Like, dropping off today. We're doing nothing but drop-offs. We got three drop-offs. And we'll be done for the day. And then tomorrow, we got two pickups. where the drop is this thing is telling me it's gonna take 30 minutes to get there 33 minutes my phone is saying 17 but these are probably roads i can't go i can't be on yeah because we it wanted you the phone gps wanted you to turn left but the sign said no commercial trucks i know Need to go on a hot shot, man. And I know my dad be trying to get the most that he can get, which is which is fair. You know what I mean? Which is fair. But um, that low should have went on a hot shot. Today, man, we just talking about the greatness of of how much we have accomplished in such a short amount of time. I feel like I feel like because me, and my dad, we talked about getting semis like 
10 years from now. <laughs> we wouldn't even think we gonna get no semi in those two years, you know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, dropping off that truck, just really put a, really put it into perspective. And I've been, I've been using this app that I paid $10 a month for, and it says that you have to take, you have, you have to be grateful. She's laughing. <laughs> you have to be grateful for the things that's in front of you. You know, you gotta be grateful for today. Because yesterday already has your signature on it. Tomorrow you can't, you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised. But today is today. And you can make today whatever you want today to be. Just be grateful for the things that's in front of you, man. Because you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And yesterday has already been signed off. But with that being said, I am grateful for everything I'm having. I mean, look, look where we at. Look at this. It's a, it's a bigger headache. Don't 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 get it twisted now. It's a bigger headache. But the with the hot shock wasn't that bad of a headache. You know what I mean? This it's a bigger headache. But I'm blessed to have this bigger headache. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. Huh? But it's this book I'm reading called The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It says that you have to choose your problems because there's always going to be problems. There you go. You just swap out a smaller problem for a bigger problem. So they swapped out not having hold it. they swapped out the hot shots you don't have to hold it that far they swapped out the hot shots because they felt like they weren't making enough to like you said a bigger problem so you just got life is about problems you got to choose your problem because a solution to one thing is going to be a problem for another thing it's going to create a problem for something else you solve a problem which was the hot shot our problem was we wanted to make more money with the hot shot and we created another problem with all right now we got to be able to keep this truck running at all times, you know what I'm saying? And this is way more than just trucking. This is a movement. I want people to be like, hey man, you can go get what you want to go get. You can go have whatever the hell it is you, that you want to have. You can go attain whatever it is that you want to attain. But it puts a big smile on my face every day when I hop in this truck. <laughs> <laughs> I was not dropping the eggs for sections on the ground. Anyway, um, that, that first drop off was a headache. They weren't even prepared to un unload me. Um, they had to call somebody to come there and unload it by hand. They eventually unloaded it by hand. It was only two small little pallets. It was a headache to get in and it was a headache to get out. But I went ahead and took the tarp off the entire load because we got these small, like, these small stops that we're at, right? I, like, right, you see where we at right now? A small little stop. Like, I'm gonna show you, like, we're like in the city. Like, we're in the city. So I figured I'm gonna take off the tarps while I could. Took off all the tarps, folding everything back up. So now we gotta do is drop off. We got this drop off, and then we gotta go to Massachusetts and drop that load off, and we'll be done for the day. And then we gotta plan our route for tomorrow because we got three pickups tomorrow: direct shipper load, and then two other loads that, or two other parcels that's gonna go with the direct shipper load that's gonna take us to Florida. And if you don't know right now, for this video, whenever this video is dropping, there's we're going into the storm. There's a hurricane hitting Florida right now. Probably well, not right now, but they said it should hit anywhere between Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. But you know, sometimes those meteorologists, they be kind of off with their stuff sometimes. So it may hit sooner, it may hit later, who knows? But we are going into the storm. So hopefully I can drop off before the storm hits. But if the storm hits, then I'll wait out of Atlanta where I live at and then I'll drop off the following week. But that's the plan so far. Let me go ahead and go get this paperwork to somebody so that way they can come unload us. I don't know if this crane is gonna unload us or if the forklift is, fort is gonna unload us. We're gonna figure it out right now. Tight rolls, man. Just tight rolls. Nothing but tight rolls. Oh my gosh. Red needle. She didn't give a fuck. She literally didn't 
work. I'm glad you came out. Last load. Last load. But um, the dude, he made a lot. I was, <laughs> huh? Where was he at? Uh, he made a joke. Not a joke, but he was like, um, they gave him a little fort lift. And I wanted to tell him, I was like, at least they gave you a fort lift. Because the place we just came from, they, they had a hand, um, hand unloaded. Huh? Oh yeah, 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 I do, I do. <laughs> yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. I thought he was talking about your ass. <laughs> I was about to say, excuse me. <laughs> that's what she does, okay? Cause you got warm, I was like, yeah, that's probably what it was. Cause I don't look like I'm prepared for winter. And you oh, are? Oh yeah. And I was like, at first I was I like, I was like, I have, I have I was like don't react. I was like, don't react, don't react, don't react, <laughs> don't react. <laughs> so you gonna go get some? Not right now. You don't smell you don't smell. You don't smell. You don't smell? I do. I'm just glad we're done. Yes. How we far guys, are we from? We gotta, gotta out. We gotta see how far. Cause I hope I'm not far. Cause I think I think it's smart for us to go ahead and call it a day. So we can start early in the morning. And go to Planet Fitness. We're gonna go to Planet Fitness. We got we got a shower and workout right there. Well we gotta get we gotta get a washcloth and, and towel. And we got food. Well this is like a store for that. This is like a store for that. Commas, we run it up. All of these hoes, they won't come with us. Sipping that dirty, she getting real sloppy. Staying high, now she living a dream. Watch the two. <laughs> Alright, so we're done. Let's go to the other side. We're, the other side. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna I'm 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 get them there. I'm a, don't, di don't narrate. Don't direct. Okay? Magella on me, Jolly Ranchers miss it up with the link. Johnny Dang on my diamonds on fleek. Pop me a perk and she think I'm a geek. Hot in the land, why you looking at me? Counting this money, you ain't on my team. Setting a plot, we running through schemes. Hundreds on hundreds on hundreds, I want me a milli. I ain't gonna stop till I'm rich. Getting this money like money, Mitch. Promise again that I never switch. Yeah. She always talking, saying fashion over spin bars like I'm down a Glover. It's my only turn, yeah, I take a note. I just got a bands, now she wanna dance. Hit her from the back, ain't no minute man. It's my only chance when I'm right with Snake. Man, I'm going in, I don't need no breaks. Man, I'm going off, man, I'm going off.